relax your mind Kick back and just unwind Don't let this moment overcome you Cause you need this vibe Music, it takes me there Places where I don't care I'm overflowing in this motion You can't help but stare Flowing like up and down Spinning around and round Back up and touch the ground I'm making but I can't sit down Moving from side to side Feel good cause I'm alive Don't you feel jealous Just get up and it's help me feel this vibe going on folks it's your main man mr council back with another one saturday motivation you know how we do i chose saturday because saturday is the day that's uniquely your own most people work a nine to five so by the time they get to saturday they feel it's necessary to take their foot off the gas but most artists creatives and business minds know that saturday is the day to put your foot on the gas and handle your business how we doing um we're back at it again um another beautiful saturday um I'm back in the States, um, had a, a wonderful trip to Mexico, um, had one of the best times I've ever had on vacation. Um, I was able to take a lot of time to reflect and relax and just enjoy life. Um, oftentimes, especially within the past, I say five or six years, I haven't really taken the time to do that. I've been so laser focused with what I'm trying to accomplish. I've pretty much forgotten about self-care in that regard um, and taking the time to kind of just kick back and let your mind wander and reflect and just rest. Um, I got some well-needed, well-deserved rest um, and it's going to kind of lead me into what I want to discuss today and it's about taking time to reflect. It's, it's so important. It's so therapeutic. But oftentimes we just wander and we have scattered thoughts and you need to have purposeful reflection um, because the time that you take to reflect on things is pretty much the process that's going to help you move forward in the things that you're trying to do. It's going to help you heal from your past and even your present experiences. And it's going to allow you to take an outlook on where you are in life and figure out where it is you're going. So it's six things I want to discuss and how you can have some purposeful reflection that will help change your life and help sustain it, especially those people who are really working towards something. First thing you have to do um, is remember who you are. Oftentimes we get so caught up in doing things. Um, we get caught up in um, our failures, our disappointments, um, things that tend to discourage us. Um, a lot of the times we forget who we are. And you have to understand that God made you special. He made you important. He made you with a specific set of skills that no one else has. Um, he gave you ability. He gave you strength in certain areas. And it's our job to figure out what those things are and how we can use those gifts that God gave us to give back and contribute to our overall society. Um, so you have to remember who you are. You cannot forget who you are and you cannot forget about yourself. And oftentimes people don't even know who they are. See, this is a, a step beyond. It's like once you figured out who you are and your purpose, oftentimes once you get lost in your purpose, you forget. You forget how powerful you are. You forget what you've been through. So you have to remember who you are in this space because... You have to understand the power of you. Most people don't understand the power of themselves. So they get caught up in praising and revering other people and thinking of themselves as lesser because they see what so many other people have accomplished. That's one of the worst things that's going on with social media is that people have an open door into or a window into people's lives. And oftentimes it's just what people project. That's just what people want to show you. And oftentimes people get caught up in comparing themselves to what they see online. And most of that is just a facade. And even if somebody is doing some awesome and great things, if you're not looking at that as an, as an encouragement or something to look up to and something to reach for, if you're looking at that in the spirit of jealousy, 
then you have some working on the inside that you need to do anyway. See, we have to learn to congratulate people and be happy for people and their accomplishments because we don't understand what some people had to go through to get to where they are. We just see their accomplishments and we almost feel like it was gifted to them when we have no idea if we put the same amount of work in that that person did, we could have some of the same things and live some of the great outcomes that those people are living. So if you focus on you and remembering who you are, that's the first step right there because then you'll understand that God has a mission for your life and it doesn't matter where you are in your journey. That's why whenever I'm about to start training a couple of my students this coming week and they're in different stages of where they are athletically, but it doesn't matter. See, when I go to the gym and I begin to train somebody, I tell them to put their blinders on because you're going to see people in the gym that are really strong. Some of them are really big. Some of them are really athletic. And some have been working for so many years that they're able to do things that you won't be able to do for some time. But that's not a worry of yours at this point. The only thing you need to focus on is yourself and where you are in your journey and the work that you need to get done to be to get to wherever it is you're trying to get to. And so you kind of, and remembering who you are, you have to put your blinders on so you don't have to worry about the outside world. Because if you get caught up in comparing yourself to other people on a regular basis, at some point, you're going to feel down because there's always going to be somebody out there that's doing bigger and better things than you are. I don't care who you are. Unless you're at the very, very top of the food chain, there's going to be so many people out there that are working just as hard as you at their goals, dreams, and aspirations, and they may be a lot further ahead than you are. But it doesn't matter. See, some people are prodigies, and they get their gifts early on. They understand their gifts early on. They understand their mission early on. And so you see, um, you know, gifted violinists and pianists at seven, eight, nine years old. You see certain kids graduating from college at 12 and 15. You know, these are prodigies. These are geniuses. You see a, a great Kobe Bryant entering into the, the um, NBA at 17 years old. You understand what I'm saying? It's like it's certain people that they knew their assignment from the beginning. And so they shine early. Now, somebody like me, I'm a late bloomer. I never, I didn't know who I was early on. And it doesn't mean that I'm not just as important or as gifted as a prodigy. It just means I recognize who I am. I got my mustache later than in life. Um, my height um, came on later. You know, it was certain things that I always had to wait for. And it's okay. And see, now that I understand that, see, I'm at a, at a point where I'm getting older and I still haven't lived out the dream that I wanted to, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It just means it's not my time yet. And see, we get so focused on paying attention to other people's timing. We, we, we got to focus on yours and where you are. So if I go into the gym and I haven't been there in six months, there's going to be guys in there lifting two, three, sometimes 400 pounds, bench pressing um, with their legs, squatting, um, five, six, seven hundred pounds. I remember I was at a point where I could slant squat a uh, thousand pounds. And see, I can't do that at this point because I got some bad knees and I got to work my way back up to that. But what I'm trying to say is that you have to run your own race. Okay, you're not competing against everybody else. You're competing against the best of you and you have to keep that in the forefront of your mind or else you will get discouraged. Because there's going to be somebody out there who has more time to work on themselves than you do, especially if you're in a situation where you have kids and you have responsibilities. Somebody might be single, no kids. They might have a lot of time to be able to build up what they're doing a little bit faster than you. But that doesn't mean that their contribution is going to be more important than yours. You just have to stay the course in your race and focus on you. So the first thing you need to do is remember who you are. Second, remember where you came from. All right, that brings on the spirit of humility. See, there's so many people that once they get to a certain place in life, they start to gain the spirit of arrogance because they, they start feeling themselves because they see they've accomplished some things, especially when you meet certain people and they lead with their accomplishments. You know, it's almost in a 
braggadocious sort of way. It was like, okay, I'm, I'm happy for you that you were able to do those things. That's great. You know, but in remembering where you came from, it show it, it, you're going to remember that you've gone through so much. So you've made a lot of progress. All right. So if you remember where you came from, that also is directly connected to who you are. Especially if you had humble beginnings and you've gotten yourself to a place in life where you're doing a lot better. You have to think about that journey and the progress that you've made and be proud of yourself for that. And understand that because you've done that, that you can do so much more. So you have to remember you who you are and remember where you came from. If you remember where you came from, you will always keep yourself humble because you don't want to go back to that place. You constantly want to be in a place where you're moving forward in life. You're learning more. You're doing more. You're experiencing more. And that is teaching you more so you can teach more and pass certain things on to the next generation and not hoard all that information to yourself. So once you remember who you are, you remember where you came from. Because where you came from is your foundation. That's the foundation of everything that you've done. Especially if you've come from a humble beginnings. It's different from somebody who started with a silver spoon in their mouth. But oftentimes people who start with a silver spoon in their mouth, they have a certain amount of pressure that they're they're faced early on that somebody who doesn't have nothing will even know nothing about. So it doesn't matter where you are compared to somebody else because everybody has their struggles. You just need to focus on yours so you can get yourself to a better space. Third thing, you have to remember what you've been through. Take the time to remember what you've been through. So many people are weak and they feel broken and they feel like they have not, nowhere to turn. But people don't understand how strong and resilient they are. And if you stop and you think about the things that you've gone through in life and where God and what God has brought you through, man, man, if when I sit and I think about what God has brought me through, I am nothing but thankful to still be here. I am so thankful. I am. I could have. I could have been dead. I could have lost everything. I could have made mistakes that have changed that that would have changed my life forever. And God has brought me through some awesome experiences, some difficult times. And if it wasn't for Him and His grace. I wouldn't be where I am today. So in thinking about that, I have to take the time to thank him because I wouldn't be where I am without him. And see, if you always think it's you that's gotten you through what you've gone through, then man, I, I, I would hate to see what's coming up for you later. You always have to keep yourself in check and understand that God is the center of everything that you've done and everything that you are going to do. And if you don't keep that sort of reverence in the forefront of your mind, life is gonna get real hard for you. So you have to remember who you are. You have to remember where you come from and you have to remember what you've been through because the struggles that you've been through have made you into the person that you are today. Now, are you proud of that person? That's a hard question. If you're not, that doesn't mean it's over for you. That means you just have some changes to make. And that's why this reflection is so important. It's just not reflection. It's purposeful reflection. See, oftentimes we get caught up in just thinking randomly. And we have a tendency to beat ourselves up because we're not where we thought we would be at a certain age. But that's not the purpose of it. The purpose of reflection is to get yourself together so you can get yourself to your destination. Not to stall you, not to keep you in place, not to keep you standing where you are, but you can take everything that you've learned and move forward. Even if you made some egregious mistakes, you made those mistakes, excuse me, you made those mistakes and God, you put you in those situations so you can be better later and instead of focusing on the mistakes that you made and how horrible of a person you are is you have to learn from those mistakes 
Try your best not to do them again and learn moving forward so you can ultimately be better. The world loves a redemption story. So even if you have messed up, that does not mean it's over for you. But it is important to take the time to think about it and reflect on it so you can, one, not do it again. And you can, two, correct those mistakes and begin to move forward. So you have to remember who you are. You have to remember where you came from. You have to remember what you've been through. And you have to remember how you came through it. You have to think about how God carried you through a situation. Because if that situation comes up on you again, then you know exactly what you need to do to navigate through it. Or more importantly, you can teach someone else how to avoid making the same mistake that you did. See, we don't understand how important it is to pass on knowledge that we have to the next generation so they don't continue to make the same mistakes. Now, of course, everybody's going to have to make their own mistakes. But it's a lot of people that are listening to you and watching you and willing to learn from you. And those are the people that I'm trying to connect with. Somebody who's really trying to learn something. Somebody who's really trying to get themselves to an elevated position in life. Mentally, physically, and emotionally. This is not about becoming a braggart. This is not about making yourself better than someone else. This is about focusing on you and your gifts and talents and how you can use those things to change the world. That's what I'm here for. So, remember who you are. Remember where you came from. Remember what you've been through and how you came through it so you can use that information to either help yourself or somebody else in the future. And then, number five, what have you learned? You have to reflect on what you've learned throughout life. People don't take enough time to do that. Because see, we're, what you don't understand is we're constantly going through these situations so we can learn something. You're not just being put through a bunch of obstacles just so somebody's sitting up top looking down, laughing at you, struggling. That's not what the purpose of this is. The purpose of life and living is learning. And if you ever feel like you've gotten to a point in life where you're not learning something new, then you have a serious problem. I don't care how old you are. Because, see, people, you don't understand how much we learn from people that are younger than us. You ever been in a situation where a young person says something to you that's so impactful, you realize how wise that young person is at that age? They give you some sort of clarity in that moment that you wouldn't have even discovered. So it doesn't matter how old you are and where you are in life. It's just about the fact that you need to constantly be learning. And if you're not, you need to reflect on why you're not learning something. Trying to learn something new about yourself. Trying to discover a new gift and talent. Trying to discover how that new gift and talent can help change the world. That's where your focus needs to be. Because we're here for each other. We are all interconnected whether we like it or not. And I'm a very introspective person, but I'm an introverted extrovert. Because I like being around people. I like socializing with people. But I'm also standoffish. Because I need my time to reflect. And I don't like to get caught up with the other things that people are doing. And that's what I want to talk about next week. I was going to talk about it this week. But I'm going to save that topic for next week. I'm going to hold that. Because I want to really... This 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 is, is, is right in the forefront of my mind. It's purposeful reflection right here. Because I know this is going to help somebody. See, when I go and do these motivations, I have an idea of what I want to do, but then God steps in and you have to let him lead you. He let me know I had to talk about reflection today because that's exactly what I just did. I went away on a trip and I was able to engage in some purposeful reflection. And so, like I said, remember who you are. Remember where you came from, what you've been through, how you came through it, and what you learn number six 
How can you use what you learn to move forward? That's probably the hardest thing. It's probably the hardest thing because so many of us are aware of our problems and we're even aware of the solutions. It's just all about finding the gumption and the energy to put what we've learned into action. That's the toughest thing out of that list of six. It's taking what you've learned and using it to move forward and reaching your destination. And that's the hardest thing for so many people to do. And I sit back and I listen to people complain sometimes about their problems and the things that they went through. And they know exactly what their issue is. They figured it out by now, but they just haven't gotten the energy and the gumption to do it, to put it into action. So you're not supposed to just learn a whole bunch of stuff and sit on that information. First of all, you're supposed to use it to help somebody else. But you're also supposed to use it to help yourself move forward in life. And that's the reason why it's so important to reflect, not to beat yourself up about the things that you've done. It's important to reflect about bad things that you've gone through, but not to dwell in it. It's to learn from it so you can use the information to be a better person going forward. We've all made mistakes and we've all done some things that we haven't been proud of. But it's not about the mistakes. It's about the lesson and the mistake. God put you in that situation to show you that you're not always in control. Even though you think you are, you're not always in control of yourself. It's going to be some things that are so powerful and so influential to you as an individual that you can't even help yourself. Think about a drug addict. Most drug addicts don't want to be drug addicts. Most drug addicts used to make fun of drug addicts before they were drug addicts. But now they're in a place where they can't help themselves. And they need something strong and powerful to help them get through what they're going through now. Now, you, I don't want everybody's situation to have to, to, to resort to drugs to have to learn from something. But what I'm saying is you're not always in control. And until you discover that, there will be no humility for you. So my six things, remember who you are. You have to remember where you came from. You have to remember what you've been through and how you came through it. Then you have to focus on what you learned. And then the most, the hardest step is taking what you learned and using that information to better yourself for the future. That's powerful. So if I can motivate you today, take time for purposeful reflection. It's the ultimate healing because nobody truly knows you like you. You can go to therapy. You can go to your pastor. You can seek counsel from anybody that you like. But nobody knows you like you. And it's time for us to be accountable to ourselves for the things that we've done so we can accomplish the things that we want to do. Understand this is a series of lessons. And unless you take the time for purposeful reflection, you're going to stay stuck in the mud. You're going to stay stuck in the same place where you are because God is trying to show you something, but your mind is closed off to it. So once again, for purposeful reflection, Remember who you are. Remember where you came from. Remember what you've been through and how you came through it. Then think about what you learned and ultimately how you're going to use what you learned to become a better you in the future. I'm leaving the description to my album. Um, excuse me, I'm leaving the link to the in the description for my album. Check out Better Man Chronicles. We hear every week, man. I'm more and more excited every week to come to you. I'm going to have more and more special messages. And I told you, this is the year of teaching. I'm an educator. And so in this space, I want to show you things that nobody else is telling you. I want to give you a framework for lessons. I don't want to just come giving you a bunch of fluff information, a bunch of just inspiration. I want you to be able to take the things that I'm showing you and use them in your own personal life. And then that's a true reflection of what I'm saying. It's about the work. It's not just, don't just listen to what I say. 
try out the things that I'm telling you to do, and then you'll know that I know what I'm talking about. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share these videos, y'all. I'm still struggling to get to 500, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there because I feel it in my spirit. And every week I'm coming to you with more and more powerful lessons. So I'm about to go because I know I'm running a little bit long. But whenever I have a whole lot I need to give to you, I have to take my time. So I'm sorry if you still made it to this point in the video. I thank you. And I love you for continuing to support me. Understand we're moving on to bigger and better things in 2022. And I will see you at the top. That's my time, y'all. Peace to all my people in the struggle. The sun came up, I'm waking up, freshen up for my day. Felt like something might be nothing, touched my soul this day. Took off riding, felt like vibing to some other gay. Somehow excited, can't describe it, how I felt that day. But now that nothing became something, cause she walked my way. My eyes got bigger cause her figure let me know no games The way her motion got me open man I can't explain Am I supposed to cold approach you or just play it safe? She drives me crazy, oh that lady she's got what I want My said baby boy